And thanks for coming back with us on Yankees Hot Stove. With the calendar now in 2014, spring training isn't that far off. But while CC Sabathia is getting ready for a new season, he is still enjoying precious time at home with his loved ones. And family life was just one of several topics that our Meredith Morakovitz discussed with CC when she spoke with him on Wednesday. So, CC, how's the offseason been treating you so far? It's been good. Um, just hanging out with the family. We've been running around with the kids. It's a lot of activities going on. And vacations and holidays so it's uh it's been it's been a lot of fun such a long season so many games so much time away from home how much do you enjoy and cherish this time right now i really love being home and and uh you know waking up with the kids you know taking them to school and putting them to bed at night um you know it's just it's a lot of fun to be um you know actual real parent and help my wife out so um, I, I definitely enjoy the time off in the holidays. You look to be in great shape. So how different is your workout routine now than, say, maybe a year or two ago? I think uh, a year or two ago was more about, you know, weight loss and, and um, trying to be in shape and trying to make sure my cardio is there. Now it's just all about, you know, building strength and um, building muscle and being strong enough to go out and, you know, handle 200 innings or, um, you know, handle, you know, a nine-inning game. Um, you know, I don't think uh, – Last year I was, you know, strong enough to do that, and I feel like I will be able to this year. You mentioned the weight loss, and even from spring training last year to the end of the season, you could tell a little bit of a dramatic difference. Was that you saying, I think I need to drop down a little bit, or was that the Yankees and the organization say, we think we, that you would be better if you were maybe a little bit slimmer? I think it was, it was a combination of both. We've, we've had the discussion over the years. Um, and it, I, I felt like it was just time. You know, I'm, I'm getting older in my career, and, um, you know, I, I want to, be at my best and I felt like uh, you know being at this weight um, you know 275 280 I feel feel a lot better and I feel a lot stronger so uh, I'm ready to go. Before we look ahead to the 2014 season looking back on the 2013 season how do you describe it? Uh, inconsistent um, you know frustrating just being up and down you know I look back and say if I would have won three or four more games maybe um, we would have been in a different position um, so you know, it's just frustrating, but uh, I'm looking forward to 2014. You're a guy that always takes so much pride in going out there, giving them innings, getting this team wins. How tough was it for you to go through that in 2013? It was tough. Um, you know, it's, it's just, uh, you know, not being there for the guys. You feel like you're letting them down. And that's something that I take pride in as, as being, you know, the ace. Um, I want to go out there, and every time I take them out, I want to be, um, I want the guys to feel like we're going to win that game. And uh, sometimes I felt like, you know, we didn't have that confidence. So, um you know, I'll be back out on the mound and have my swag back and, and uh, you know, have these guys confident. Velocity is something that was talked about so much. I know I'd asked you the question. So many people had asked you those questions about velocity. What does that word mean to you uh, in the grand scheme of things, whether you have it or you don't have it? Um, I mean, it, it doesn't mean a lot. I mean, I've, I've, I've figured out I can pitch with, with it or without it, you know, whatever that is, you know, whether it's 90 to 92 or 92 to 94. I mean, I can pitch both ways. So, um you know, as long as I'm healthy and I'm strong and I feel good, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm 33 years old, turning 34. Um, I'm not going to throw 95, 96 forever. So um, I've learned how to pitch over the years, and I'm, I'm sure I can figure out how to get guys out. You look at the additions you guys have obviously made with McCann, with Beltran, some big, big moves. Um, but then you also look at the guys that you're hopefully getting back healthy and Derek Jeter and Mark Teixeira, switch hitter in that lineup. How much do you think that helps you as, as well, just this team being healthy in 2014? I think that's the biggest thing that people uh, forgot about in 2013, that we weren't healthy at all. Um, you know, I mean, you see the games that Derek played in, just the way uh, the team, you know, reacted. I mean, um, you know, that, that game when he hit the homer against Tampa. I mean, everybody was excited. We played great that day. Um, so just to have him out there and, and uh, you know, back healthy, um, I think he's going to have a great year. So I think that will make a big difference. And obviously, I mean, you can't replace a guy like Tex. For a gold go glove first baseman, a switch hitter, um, one of the best in the league. So. It would be great to get them back. You look at who you threw to last year. Chris Stewart, Francisco Cervelli, Austin Romine. No disrespect to any of those guys filled in serviceably, but how much do you think it will benefit you throwing to one guy in a Brian McCann knowing what you're getting every time you're out there on the mound? Uh, I think it will help me. I think it helps me a lot. Um, I depend a lot on my catchers, um, and those guys have done a great job for me. Service, you know, been great for me. Austin's awesome. Um, so, you know, I depend on those guys a lot to, to – uh, to put the right fingers down, they put the fingers down, I just go. So um, I'm looking forward to having a good relationship with Brian um, on and off the field, and I think that will translate over, um, you know, to pitching. Was there any move that this team made that the front office made that surprised you at all? Not yet. I mean, you know, I still feel like they're, they're going to make some more moves, you know. So 
um, you know, you never know with, with the Yankees. And, and I, like I said, I mean, that's, that's what the exciting thing is. Your rotation as it stands right now, do you think you have enough to get it done in the AL East? I do. I, I mean, Hero coming back makes a big difference. He's been an anchor for us for the last two years. Um, you know, Big Mike is coming back, Pineda. So um, hopefully he can come back healthy and give us some innings. And, you know, we'll see what we got. With Avon Nova, he's a guy that kind of made some strides, especially towards the second half of the season. What have you seen in him and watching him as far as his involvement as a player? Just maturity. Um, you know, you can see him, you know, get more confident on the mound um, in the clubhouse, knowing what he needs to do um, to get ready to pitch. So uh, I'm excited for Nova. I think, you know, at any time he can bust out and have one of those years where he can win the Cy Young. He's got that type of stuff. So. Um, hopefully it's this year. Not a lot of time now. Spring training right around the corner. So what's it like for you this last month, month and a half as you get ready to head down to Tampa? Um, crazy workouts, you know, um, working out every day, sometimes twice a day and trying to watch as much basketball and football as I can. Um, you know, get this many games and, you know, just hang out with the family, enjoy this time before uh, we have to go back. Before I let you go, some Hall of Famers announced today, Maddox, Glavin, Frank Thomas, all going in. What do you think about the selections? I think it's awesome. Um, and, and all three guys, I've, have a I've had a chance to watch their whole career. So um, it, it's awesome. You know, I was a Braves fan. Um, got to watch Glavin pitch, uh, Maddox pitch on TV all the time on TBS. And, um, you know, you see Big Hurt. He was always a big first baseman, which is the position I played. So... Um, you know, like I said, I was always a big fan of these guys, and to see them going to the Hall of Fame is awesome.